Montreal is everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft, and don't you worry none, we'll get you back to that cavalcade of celebrity interviews from California as how he finds his way back home. But in the meantime, I thought I would entertain you with another rousing episode of our Peabody award-winning series. Today's humdinger of a winner comes from Orrin Gray in the collection Painted Monsters. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. P.H., how come you only give glowing reviews? How come you never rip a book to shreds? How can we trust you to be an objective critic when everything is always thumbs up this, A plus this, don't let your mama find that? Well, first off, if you're trusting me on anything, you got bigger problems. Secondly, there are only so many hours in the day between when the Kit Kat Club closes and the liquor store opens, so P.H. has to use his time wisely. And if a book does not entertain me by page one and a half, then it goes in the heap. Luckily for y'all, and luckily for Mr. Gray, this book ain't going nowhere. This is a collection of absolutely delightful stories all about the monstrous. And believe you me, I have a vested interest in the exploration of monsters. These monsters are drawn from cinema, from literature, or sometimes just from Mr. Gray's diseased brain. And best of all, at no point does he try to insinuate that man is the real monster. Please, man doesn't even have retractable eye stalks. So go on out, find yourself a copy of Painted Monsters, and if you're interested in hearing that draw Mr. Kessler to go on and on about it, he uh, interviews Mr. Gray over on his uh, Miskatonic Musings podcast. I, I won't listen to that nerd stuff, so I couldn't tell you any more about it. There you go. I hope y'all enjoy it. We've been having a blast here, so from all of us at Ask Lovecraft, y'all stay bad now. Whew. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>